When an 11 year old girl dies, her grieving foster mom takes on a fight that will forever change how DCFS responds when a young ward of the state passes away. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker has this original report. We're back in Tony's room. Um, nothing much has changed. It has been five months since Karen Castleberry lost her foster child, Antonia Taylor, after an asthma attack. I was devastated. Antonio lived with Castleberry's family the last six years of her life. But when she died, Castleberry couldn't afford to bury her. That's when she learned DCFS wouldn't cover the cost. Last December, she shared her disappointment with CBS2. They're responsible for it, so in life, why would I not think that it would be the same in death? Castleberry turned her anger into action. Another family should never have to go through this pain that I had to go through. So she reached out to Zach Schruns, the head of a private child welfare agency. She shared with me the pain that she was going through. It just, you know, it just really hit home that this is, we have to change this. Strunz uh, sent a copy of our story to the head of DCFS. And just said, you know, he may not be aware of this. And DCFS responded immediately. This is a surprise and a disappointing one at that. I will be changing our practice at the start of the year. It didn't happen the start of the year, but shortly after what would have been Antonia's 12th birthday. When the family released balloons, DCFS released its new policy, providing guardians up to $5,000 to bury a foster child. It leaves me feeling really, really good. I lost my daughter, but her death wasn't in vain. And the new policy by DCFS becomes effective immediately. A spokesman for the agency says it now means they no longer have to scramble to find the money to bury a foster child. So it works going forward, but it's not retroactive. So, for instance, in this case, Castleberry, how did she end up paying for this funeral? She had to have a GoFundMe page. She reached out to funeral homes to ask them to pitch in. She basically had to scramble. Yeah. Good, nurturing foster parents are special, aren't they? Oh, very much so. All right, thanks. You know, it's